a um, making a quick video for everyone that plans on taking the um, the 473 exam for the United States Post Service, and I'm giving you guys some inform information that will hopefully help you guys out. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for a few weeks. I actually took my exam uh, a few weeks ago, and I got an 82, which isn't the best score, but it's pretty well above passing, and it's a good score. And pretty much guarantees you at least an interview and a job if you do all the whole process correctly. Um, first of all, the mis one of the mistakes I made was I actually paid for that um, that learning that digital learning book that the post office tries to give you. Don't do it. It's a ripoff and it's not worth it. If you download it, it'll be like a million pages of information that's going to be near impossible to sift through. Just don't do it to yourself. I'm going to drop a link at the bottom of the um, of the video in the description box to give you guys the free test for it. So, And that's going to be honestly the best learning tool. I studied a little bit for a few days beforehand. Not really. It was mostly just watching YouTube videos similar to the one I'm making right now with advice and stuff like that and honestly there's nothing really to it the the best thing you can do what I personally did before I went and got my 82 on the exam and I finished with plenty of time to go on each section um, was I just took the practice test I went to the link that I'm gonna put down there for you guys and I took like I took the practice test like twice because really the the whole test it's not like a like a chemistry or a math test you can you can really study for it's all it is it's it's attention to detail and it's techniques so when you take the test you're not going to be asked questions that you should already know you're going to be asked situational questions like uh, like route delivery and uh, number recognition and, and and matching things and like a lot of memorization so I recommend personally for my learning style I recommend that you just take the test a couple times before you go and take the test that way it's fresh in your mind and you know what to expect going in there because you'll save a lot of time before you go into each section knowing what to expect because you're not going to know the information but you can know what to expect before you dive into that section and actually take that portion of the test now if you're a person that needs to study long term to, to really put things in your short in your short term memory or your long term memory then maybe the buying the digital pamphlet is for you but me personally, I, I mean, I really didn't see any good in that. Now, uh, if you want it, just, uh, message me or drop drop a comment down below, and I'll send I'll email you the digital book because I didn't use it and I paid for it, so I mean it's mine. But um, yeah, I recommend just cramming right beforehand, taking the test a couple times, the free practice test, really figuring out what to expect in each section, and then immediately going in and taking your test, and I promise you, you'll crush it. I mean, that's really all there is to it. It's not a hard process. Um, yeah, and I'll, if you guys, if I get a good response in this video, I'll, I'll, um, I'll make more with more information as the process goes on. Because I actually have my first interview with the post office tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. And then depending on how it goes afterwards, I'll make a video about that process. But it's super easy. Um, yeah, um, quick advice. When you take the personality portion of the test, which is the first test you're gonna get before you actually physically go and take the test, the employer, in this case, the post office, wants to see extreme. So it's gonna give you like a list of options of like what you'd most likely do versus what you'd least likely do. And it'll give you like sometimes, maybe, and then like, like it'll give you like three or four options in between. Always choose an extreme. So if they ask you something like, if someone comes to you with a customer service problem and you're more likely to blank, either chose most likely or choose least likely because employers don't want to see wishy-washiness so if you crush that portion which the gist of what I've gotten from talking to a lot of people who've done well on the exam the 473 exam it like uh, myself is ch crush the personality section by choosing least likely or most likely and never anything in between and then just cram before you go and take the test learn what you're going to learn what to expect from taking the pre-test because the real test is just like it and then go in and knock it out and you'll at least get an 80 so remember uh, uh, i'll give you guys the pamphlet if you want it but i recommend just taking the free test that i'm gonna put in the comment box you better check the worst i got my locked in next to burst i shock my watch and get to surf this seven first for the better worse